This video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Arts at Play, and today I am here with my annual birthday art supply haul. This one's going to be a doozy, so buckle up, because it might be a long one. I got quite a few things here. I am being nice and cozy in my living room right now, drinking my tea. And can I just say that I have a new tea addiction? This really has nothing to do with this video at all whatsoever. However, I have tried this new tea. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Hot Cinnamon Sunset by Harney and Sons Fine Teas. I got it at Target. Um, I'm in love. It's like drinking, what is it, Big Red Gum? It tastes just like Big Red Gum, but it's in tea form. And no, this is not sponsored. I stumbled upon it the other day. This is what I have been drinking because it is just full of fall flavor. I am filming this on October 1st, which means it is officially spooky season. You won't be seeing this for another week, but it is October 1st, and this is my favorite season ever. And so you're going to see a few things that are craft items in this that you can tell it's like, you know, it's spooky season. My birthday was in mid-September. And so I am just now, I got all my stuff gathered. There's a few things here that are gifts. There's a few things that I got with gift cards. And there's a couple other scragglers that I got here and there since the last time I did an art haul that I'm just going to show you. So let's get to it. And I apologize ahead of time for my squeaky couch. It's awful. I know. But here we are. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is a gift I got from my husband. It is going to be hanging up in my studio when my studio is finished. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm glad I moved my tea. Make sure there's no moisture here. It's not an art supply. But look at this beautiful photo of Frida. He got it from someone online. I don't know who sold it, honestly. I might try to find out from him and see if I can link them below. I am so excited about this. It's gorgeous and I cannot wait. Look how beautiful she is. I cannot wait to hang this in my studio. He also got me a piece of furniture for the studio, a bookshelf I've been wanting, but obviously that's not put together yet and neither is my studio, hence the fact that I'm filming in the living room again. Um, <laughs> So I can't really show that here, but I'll pop up the shelf that it is, like a picture of it from the Amazon listing. And this shelf was like my big gift. He got me this. I can't show it fully. I'm not in a place where I can hold it up. But it is a beautiful tapestry, which will also be hanging on the walls in the studio. It is a Monet tapestry. And Monet is my all-time favorite artist, so I'm very excited about that. So those are the gift items from my husband. And now I wanna show you what I got from my sister. This is semi art related, but not fully. It is a journal. I love having hardbound journals around. I write a lot of my ideas in them. I also like to write poetry from time to time. And so I'm super excited about this. It is beautiful. And I will be writing many, many, many ideas in this in the future and I've been wanting to get into journaling more as well for my mental health and so this is going to be perfect for that and the next thing she got me goes perfect with spooky season it is a cauldron to paint she got this from Michaels I am so excited about this she also got one for her and for my niece so we're going to be probably painting these together soon i'm not sure if i'll film that or not i'll see it just depends on how comfortable she feels and what the setup will be like and if it's filmable but i cannot wait to paint this i am so excited about this and yeah i just love doing fall crafts and in that light i also got a couple fall crafts for my husband and i that are very similar I got this from Amazon so that will he and I will also be doing fall crafts together we like to do that and they're pumpkins I got us each a matching pumpkin so that's gonna be a lot of fun and I also bought 
some glow in the dark paint by Folk Art to use on this stuff. I'm super excited. I actually had some glow in the dark years ago, but I used it all up and what I had left ended up drying up. So I needed some more and I found this big one on Amazon. By the way, everything that I'm able to link, I will link in the description below. Sorry if you hear my cat. He is getting curious and he's getting into some of the packaging around. Okay, so along the lines of spooky season and decorating cauldrons and things like that, I finally bought something from Culture Hustle. <laughs> I bought the color changing paint. So this comes with the black 2.0 and the color shift paint. I actually bought this a while ago and I don't think I've shown you on the channel yet because it's going to be its own video. Initially, I wanted to do it on, like on this, but I don't know if there'll be enough in here, but I'm really, really excited. Sorry, I thought it was packaged separately. It's actually in here. It's 50 mils of the black 2.0, which is almost the black is black paint out on the market. They've come out with a 3.0 now, which is even more matte black. And I don't know, like, obviously, if you watch YouTube videos, you've probably seen some videos of these products. They're so matte and black. But this also comes the, with the 2 ml rainbow liquid. And this color changes with heat very much like a mood ring and I am obsessed with mood rings I always have been I love the mood stuff I even had mood pencils when I was a kid like I love it so much and so when I saw this product I'm like I absolutely have to get it so I will be painting something with this at some point on the channel and showing you what it's like and look at these fun stickers Okay, so going on with my little haul here, I have a few things from Amazon, just a couple random things. I bought some neutral pH adhesive. I have been looking for a long time for a good adhesive that is acid free, that won't yellow paper or anything like that because I wanna get into collage a little bit more and it's always just good to have around the studio. So I saw this on a TikTok, <laughs> TikTok made me buy it. Uh, it was somebody who was a book binder. They were talking about what they used to bind their books. And so I was like, heck yeah, if it's good enough for books, it's good enough for me. So I decided to get some of that. And then I also ordered some new brushes. This is just like a cheap pack of brushes. Honestly, it looked a little bit nicer in the listing. I thought that the bristles were also purple, but yeah, just various sizes. I don't know what the quality is going to be like. Let me see. Just standard cheap brushes because I don't use very expensive brushes, but these kind of, honestly, I don't have a lot of faith in them. They look even cheaper than what I normally buy. Like I said, they look better in the listing, but I will find a use for them. And then I also got this because I saw it in a YouTube video recently. Uh, Angela Clark from Clark Fine Art was using this in a recent YouTube video and this is to open caps of paint off of paint tubes. I'm like, how did I not know that this existed? How have I lived my whole life as an artist not knowing <laughs> that there was a tool out there to help my weak ass self open up these paint tubes? I'm just saying. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, yep, clicked her affiliate link and ordered it. I had to have it. So I'm very excited about that. I think it's by Golden. And yeah, that's definitely going to come in handy. Okay, so I have a couple random things that I actually got from Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I was actually ordering sweaters for my Chihuahua because that's what I do. And I wanted free shipping. So I looked to see if they had any art-related supplies and they had a couple things and so I picked them up so I could get free shipping because that's also what I do. Okay so I got some airbrush reducer and extender base which will come in handy once I'm back in the studio again. I don't know if I can get that to focus. There we go. Yeah so Yep, that's going to come in handy when I'm airbrushing again. It'll be a little while because I'm not going to airbrush in my living room. But I'm like, I could always have some of that on hand. And then I also bought, it's not technically an art supply, but 
it's actually makeup brushes. I use makeup brushes a lot in my paintings, especially to blend, especially with like oil painting and even some acrylic painting. The special, this mop brush, yeah. I use that a lot when I want to blend out brush sto strokes. And so I don't really know anything about the company because I'm not up on makeup companies anymore. I don't buy a lot of makeup or anything like that anymore. I just buy brushes to use in my artwork. Okay, so one more random thing, and then we're going to get to, I got one thing from Jerry's and then a bunch of stuff from Blick. Um, I ordered a stamp from Zazzle with my logo on it. I am so excited. I will test this out at some point. I need to get a stamp pad because it was supposed to come with a stamp pad and it didn't. So I'm not too happy about that, but you can see it's my little logo. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to stamp this all over things. It'll be like my husband's just going to find stuff all over the house randomly with my stamps on it. But it's no big deal. Okay. So let me set this stuff aside. Get the shadows out of the way. That fall light, I tell you. Okay. I have one item from Jerry's, which I'm super excited about. Look at this fun packaging. If I can get it open. I've been eyeballing this for a while, so I'm pretty excited about it. Well, not really ha weird how they packaged it. Let me get that sticker off there. That doesn't need to show. That's really annoying that they put that sticker right across it, but whatever. Okay, so this is the Shades of Grey acrylic set. Now, I don't know anything about this company, and I think it's a Jerry's exclusive. So I don't know who it's made by. If it's Turner or if it's... They've got a few things that are very, like, Jerry's Art Arama brands. But... It did have light fast ratings on the website on Jerry's and they all seemed pretty light fast. I'm assuming it's going to be more of a student grade acrylic set, but I don't know. And I will do a review on them of them on the channel, but it is 12 shades of gray acrylics. So we've got blue gray, brown gray, cold gray, green gray, mid gray, orange gray, pale gray, Payne's gray, red gray, velvet gray, warm gray, and yellow gray. I just thought that it was really beautiful and muted and sometimes I like to work in muted tones and I haven't seen a set like this before. They also have oils, but since I'm not working in oils a lot lately, being that I'm down in my living room and not in my studio, I went for the acrylics first and if I like these, I might get the oil paints and they were fairly inexpensive. So I'm pretty excited to see how these do. And yeah, so if you'd like to see me review these, which I'm probably going to, but if that's something that you'd like, give me, give me a heart in the comments if you want to see me review that. Okay, now for the big boy. Let's see, I've got a lot of stuff here. Let's go for these first. I'm just going to tear them open from my Blick order. I ordered some more acrylic paint markers and these are by Montana. I have been loving these. I've been loving them. I have two black ones in two different nib sizes. So I've got the fine and then I have the extra fine and I have this one already and it works really well and it works so well that I've almost used it up. So I just bought another one because it's actually like, I think it ended up being cheaper. I believe they do refills but I think it just ended up being cheaper for me to do it this way. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I'd have to look again. But yeah. So those are the black ones. And then this is another color that I used up a lot of. Yeah, I believe that they do do refills. But I thought it would just be cheaper to do it this way. And I got most of this stuff with gift cards. I have this color. This is... The only thing that I don't like about this is the writing blends in with the lighter colors. And this one is, I always do this and I always forget that the color is actually right next to the barcode. So it's shock blue light. And I love this color. I've used a lot of it in my sketchbook, which I only have like four pages of my sketchbook left. So there's going to be a sketchbook tour coming soon. 
And then this color is royal red. It's a nice deep red. So I'm really excited about that. I'm sorry if this isn't focusing. I don't have great lighting today. And then this one is Iron Curtain. It's a nice gray. I don't really have any gray acrylic markers at the moment, so I thought it would be good to add it to my collection. And then, of course, I got a white one because I can never have enough white markers. I usually use the Liquitex, or I, in the past I have bought the Liquitex Professional Markers, but I don't like their nibs. They're like a chisel nib, and like, who the hell wants that? These are bullet nibs, and they come in various sizes. They call... The Liquitex ones, they call themselves fine nibs, but they're chisel. So, I don't know. I just, I, I don't get down with that. Okay. So, let's see what else I have. Along the marker line. I came across these probably because I was buying markers. And I had looked at some of the Molotow markers at the same time. But I came across these Molotow fine liners. These are their black liners. So this one is the calligraphy one. I bought this separate. So this has a calligraphy nib, which is very similar to the chisel tip, but it's not like, it's kind of got a blunt edge instead of a like diagonal, like slanted edge. And I love these for like writing and things like that, or this type of nib. I've never tried this kind of marker before. So if this is something you'd like me to do a video on, let me know. It's been a while since I've done a video on a fine liner. And they're supposed to be archival. Water-based, pigmented, incredible, um, indelible ink, sorry. Resistant to water and chemicals, fade resistant, made in Germany, yeah. So they're supposed to be archival. They're not supposed to fade. They're pigment-based, yeah. And they're supposed to be water-resistant. So, in the set, we have the 0.5 millimeter. I've got marker all over me already. We have one millimeter. They have a set that's even smaller than this. I don't have good luck with the really, really small ones. I mean, these are small, small, small to begin with. 0.7 millimeter and 0.3. So these are like the sizes that I like the most, at least with my pit pens. And so I'm very curious to see how well these do. I'm really, really excited about those. Again, for more illustrative work and things like that, it's nice to just have fine liners around at any given time. Good to sign artwork with, especially if they don't fade like alcohol markers do because that's what alcohol markers do, unfortunately. Okay. Next thing, while we're on the inky ink, I bought two colors from the Aquafine line of De La Rowney. These are their watercolor inks. I actually have a six pack of them, of their general colors. And then these two colors I thought would be great in addition to those. I bought those a while ago, but I don't believe I showed you those either. But this is to be in addition to those. So this one is their Carillium Hue. I don't know how to say that. Carillium, is it Cerulean? Why is that spelled differently than what I'm used to? <sighs> brain fart. A big old brain fart. That's fine. That's fine. Just forgive me. Move on. <laughs> and then leaf green. And they have the light fast ratings on the side. And yeah. So I'm really excited about these colors. I think I have the set down here. Let me see. So this is the set that I had bought a while back. I think through Amazon, but it shipped over from the UK. And, um, I don't believe I've shown you this on the channel before. I also have some of their acrylic inks, their System 3 acrylic inks, which I believe I've shown you before, but these are their Aquafine ones. I've been wanting to try all of them. They've got three different kinds of inks. So I haven't tried these yet because, well, I've been reviewing a lot of different supplies and I only have so much time, but I will be trying them 
and these will probably turn into a video. Are you noticing a theme here? Pretty much anything I do now these days turns into a video. I mean, not always. I have a lot of experimentations in my sketchbook, but still. So this set of six has their, what is this one? Quidacridone magenta. These are basically their primary sets, except it also has a brown, which is another reason why I ordered this, because this is more like a cyan. And so I wanted to have my three sets of, or my two sets of primary colors, because I like to use both. You know, you get the red, the blue, the yellow, but I also like to use cyan, magenta, and yellow as primary. So that's why I got this one, to supplement this set. And then I got this because, oh, hello, that's just fun. So we've got the magenta, we've got the ultramarine blue dark, we have yellow ochre, which is a must-have in any of my palettes all the time. We have the Cadmium Red Hue. We have the Lemon Yellow. And then, as I mentioned, we also have a brown here. Is this a brown or is it black? Yeah, it's, it's a burnt umber. So that's what I have for the Aquafine inks right now. I will be trying these eventually. I'm going to be trying all their inks eventually because, well, that's what I do. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I showed you these when I first got them, but I might have, I don't know, I might have in my small haul for my, oh, and it also came with a marker, so that's fun. So there's that, and um, in light of that, I have something else to show you that I got from Blick, and that would be the set of six FW acrylic inks <laughs> from... Dayla Rowney, you guessed it. So I believe that these ones are supposed to be their more transparent acrylic. So they're going to be more permanent than these. They can't be lifted. And I think that their System 3 acrylic inks are more opaque. Don't quote me on that. I might have that reversed. But I know that they have two acrylic inks. One's the, the transparent one. Actually, it might say on here. Let's open it up because it's kind of jostled. Look at this. Look at these. I'm glad they're not broken. And these have different colors than that set. So I thought that that was pretty interesting. But again, this is like their general set. I will be ordering other colors to supplement. This also came with a marker. I think it should say if they're transparent on them. Yeah, I think these ones are their transparent... I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. So don't quote me on it. I might be full of crap. Who knows? Life's an adventure. Life's a mystery. So another paint marker. And then we have black. We have process cyan. Or cyan. Crimson. We have process yellow. Process magenta. And white. I love that this comes with a black and a white. I think that's a lot of fun. And I like that it has these primaries. I might pick up a darker blue to do the other primaries. But that is that set. So expect a video on these. I don't know if I'm going to do a comparison video between all these sets or if I'm going to just do. So it says... FW Acrylic Ink is a multi-surface pigment-based ink, particularly ideal for airbrush and technical pan uh, pens, water-based, water-resistant when dry, for inside and outdoor use, highlight fastness, and intermixable. Yeah, but I think I, I do have their System 3, and I remember I was looking up the differences online, and one of them's more transparent, and the other one is more opaque, but again... I'm not remembering which is which. And obviously, I will look that up before I do a video on either one of them so that I can give you the right information and be as thorough as possible. So there's those inks to go along with my little ink collection that I've got. Oh, and there's that pen. I'm really excited about that. I have to say, I've wanted the inks for a long time by Dayla Rowney, 
because I use their System 3 acrylics. That's my favorite acrylic. I've used them for years. I don't like their student grade acrylics, and eh, no, those are crap. But their System 3, they're kind of in line with Liquitex Basics, but a little bit thicker. And I love them. They're a medium body. They're very pigmented. I've used them for years. It's one of my go-tos. And then also now I use a lot of golden. But I digress. Long story short, I've wanted their inks for a long time. So I'm really excited that I have started to kind of curate them. Now I just need to, you know, use them. So along the lines of acrylics, I picked up a, another jar of the Napthal Pink So Flat Matte Acrylics. This color is my go-to for sunsets and things like that. I love this color. I have a review of these paints up on my channel from a while ago, and I haven't really used up all this color yet, but it's just such a unique color that I want it. I've been wanting to have more. It's something that I will use up a lot, so I'm keeping this on hand, and I have not seen this color in their heavy body or their open acrylics yet. I don't know if they plan on doing it or if this is a so flat matte exclusive, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful pink. And yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about it. And it's got like pretty good light fastness. It's not their highest light fastness, but it's definitely not fugitive. And one would expect a color like this. I'm not actually going to open it here because it's just going to make a mess uh, to, to be fugitive and it's not. So I just, I love it. I love this color. Okay, so something else that isn't as fun but is necessary that I bought. I bought a new silicoil tank for when I do oil painting because I'm starting to come away from odorless mineral spirits or I plan to. And my old one is just full of odorless mineral spirits. And so I want to have a less caustic kind of cleanser for my oil paints so I decided to get a new one of these so that once I start oil painting again I will have it it will be ready and I don't have to mess around with that because I want to oil paint so bad but I'm not going to do it in my living room okay I also got a refill of my Karma varnish I love this varnish I've been using it since I was a teenager Definitely stinks to the high heavens. Use it outside because, you know, here I am talking about how I don't want to use odorless mineral spirits anymore. This shit is poison too. You have to use it outside, well ventilated. Do not breathe in the fumes. But, man, it gives a beautiful finish. It's non-yellowing, keeps fresh from the palette look, acid-free, allows easy rework, free from impurities. So, yeah, I highly recommend this varnish. Okay, so here is something that was a dire necessity that I just had to have. It's eggs. The miracle food. <laughs> I am a child. I have chickens. And they made egg erasers. How cute is this? How cute? It looks like the little baby eggs. Like, we have some young hens that have just started to lay, and they're laying eggs that are, like, this size right now. I love this. I don't know if this is going to leave marks on things, so I don't know how much I'm going to use it in actual artwork. Because it, you know, I don't know if it's going to, like, color the paper or not. I'll have to test it in, like, a sketchbook and stuff. But it's just one of those novelty things that I just had to have as a crazy chicken lady. Like, I had to do it. Like, look how cute that is. And it's a four-pack. They also offer a pickle one, but it was back, like, it was back-ordered. So, I will be getting the pickle eraser at some point. Do I need it? No. Will I use it? Mm, probably also no. Will I love it? Hell yes. Okay. What else do we get? I bought some of the Clear Carve plates by Jack Richardson. And these are for etching. And they are basically plexiglass. Get it out. And when I was taking a printmaking class, we used to buy plexi from like. Lowe's and Home Depot and we'd get it cut there and we would use that to do printmaking 
and I loved the way it looked and you just carve into it and print your prints and honestly the plates themselves look so cool just as artwork and I have a really cool I'll see if I can find the scan of it because I actually scanned it in mermaid one that I did when I was in school and so yeah I thought it'd be fun to have some at home these are just five by sevens and I just thought it would be kind of nice to have a few of them because I don't have any I don't think I have any left these are a little thinner than the ones we got from Lowe's and Home Depot but I don't know that I have any left so I just thought it would be fun I want to do some printmaking soon and it's always nice to have some plates on hand all right some more paints I've got if you've been watching my videos recently you know that I have done a few videos with um, art snacks and I discovered a gouache through art snacks that I really love and I've been kind of getting colors here and there and so I picked up some more so this is the Royal Talons gouache and it's the extra fine quality I got olive green and lilac because I just thought that they were fun colors I love olive green anyways and I like sap green I like those nice warm earthy greens and then also look how pretty this lilac color is so I can't wait to use these with my others okay so we got two things left the first thing I want to show you is the Canson Plain Air Watercolor Art Boards. If you have been watching my channel lately, you know I just did a huge two-part review of their mixed media art boards. So naturally, I have to buy them all. And <laughs> here we are, we're gonna go do the watercolor ones. Now, I have to say, I already have some of their Canva boards. I think they call them Canva. It's their canvas textured ones. They're upstairs in the studio, kind of packed away right now. I will do a review of those at some point. Those were the first ones I bought, but because they've been packed away, I haven't had the chance to use them. But now I have the watercolor art boards. I also ordered their illustration boards. However, they didn't come and the order got canceled from Amazon. So I'm going to have to reorder those. So I'll probably be reviewing this one next. If you haven't seen my reviews, go check it out. Very thorough. This one, I don't know how much I will be doing on it because it's not necessarily mixed media but I do definitely want to try watercolor obviously I'm curious to try the water-based markers on them I think that this is going to be perfectly fine for gouache and acrylics so I'm not too concerned about that but I also want to see how ink tense does on this this has slightly more texture and I don't know if that's going to show but it has slightly more texture than their mixed media boards. I'm assuming that their illustration boards will probably be the smoothest. I really, really want those because I'm really curious to try their illustration boards with water-based markers. But I'll try them on here and we'll see. We will see. I don't have the highest hopes because water-based markers are ju just such finicky bastards. Um... <laughs> when it comes to the type of surface you can put them on however I do have a surface I really love to use them on and that is the encaustic boards by ampersand and so it's not like I'll be at a loss but it'd be really exciting if I could find another surface to use my water-based markers on and hopefully this will be it there's a little bit of damage on these corners I'm not too happy about that but anyway Expect a video about these coming up soon. Let me know what you'd like to see me try on them. Obviously watercolor and gouache, but I'm definitely curious about ink tents and yeah, water-based markers. I don't know that I'm going to, like I said, do acrylic on it or anything like that, but I can try. Let me know what you'd like to see on it. I don't think it's going to be good for pencil necessarily. I'm not a fan of a cold press texture for pencil. That's just my personal, you know, my personal preference. However... Something that I might try on here would be the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s. I might try that as well since those are also technically a water-based um, material. So there's that. And now for the last thing. This is the biggest purchase. And this was probably not the biggest, but like the most expensive purchase. And this is something I have wanted for a long time. 
and I finally, finally did it. It's the Schminky or Schminke, I don't know how to say that, Horridum Aquarel. <laughs> I feel like when I just said that whole name, I sounded like the teacher or the adults from Peanut, the Peanuts cartoons because clearly I didn't know what was going on there but you get the drift you can try and read it yourself and yeah this is their I've been wanting this palette forever this is the oh, I've just been wanting these the 24 set of half pans. They are beautiful. They are just delicious. They have a swatch card. I have yet to try this brand of watercolors, but I've heard such wonderful things about it from everybody that I watch on YouTube. And so I've wanted them for a long time. They've been on my wish list for years, seriously years, but I could never bring myself to spring for it, even with gift cards, because I had other things that I needed more. And this time, a lot of this stuff was just stuff that I wanted, not necessarily needed. I mean, I had a few refills in this, but for the most part, it was just like, hey, let's try something new. And finally, I'm like, you know what? I have the gift cards. I'm going to do it. And here we go. And also, I'd like to thank my sister, my mom, and my mother-in-law for gift cards and my best friend. I also used some money from AdSense. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and supporting my channel because without you, part of this wouldn't be, you know, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. And so thank you very much. And so, yeah, I am so excited. So let's look at the colors here. We have lemon yellow, cadmium yellow light, chromium yellow hue deep, chromium orange hue, cadmium red light, perylene maroon, permanent carmine or carmine, magenta, Manganese Violet, Indigo Ultramarine Finest, Prussian Blue, Helio Cerulean, Helio Turquoise, Thalo Green, May Green, Cobalt Dark Green, or Cobalt Green Dark, sorry, I reversed that, Permanent Green Olive, Naples Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, English Venetian Red, Sepia Brown, and Ivory Black. Oh, they're delicious. They look like little caramels. They look like little pieces of candy. And I'm going to unwrap and eat, but I'm not going to eat them because that would be poisonous. And I want to paint with them. But yeah, so that is it. This is my big ass haul. And again, I want to thank everybody who helped me get this stuff. I am just beyond blessed. I am so excited. I have endless hours of creativity ahead of me with all this wonderful stuff and you're gonna see endless hours of videos from me with all this wonderful stuff hopefully you're excited for that because I am what do you want to see me do a review on next do you want to see me try out the Canson watercolor art boards do you want to see me do a video with the De La Rowney inks. Do you want to see separate videos? Let me know in the comments below. Do you want separate videos on these or do you want me to do a comparison video or maybe both? What about the fun color shift? This might actually be coming soon because I want to do some halloween -y stuff with this. So to be fair, you might be seeing this very soon. Uh, yeah, let me know. I am so excited. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you next week. You have a great day. Bye. If you found value in this video, please feel free to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and share so others can see it as well. Thank you.